Well, um, I was born in Toronto. I've been born, born and brought up over here. But uh, my family's from an Indian background. So a lot of my life had to do with, uh, I guess, a mix of Canadian culture as well as at home, the Indian side of things. Uh, so I grew up uh, knowing my culture, knowing my language, um, and knowing my, the religion of my parents very well. Uh, I grew up in the temple, and I would always go to summer camps and Sunday school, uh, and always going to prayers and so on and so forth. So I went through a lot of, like I guess, culturalization in, in both uh, the, my, my cu the culture of my parents and the culture that I was growing up in at school. Um, I went to high school over here. Uh, I, was very, I was a pretty studious person. Um, but I also had my fun on the side, and I was really into music. I used to play guitar. I played for 11 years. Um, and so that was my life, I guess, before. When I look back about how I came to Islam, um, it was really different from a lot of other people's because I didn't think that I had any kind of a problem or an emotional component that was leading me towards uh, the truth. When I, from since I was young, um, I just didn't feel right in in the religion of my parents, although I had been brought up in it. And actually, at one point in time, I was a very ardent defender of it. And, and I was almost staunch, you could say. But that staunchness was like a shell. You know, it was very hollow. Uh, and it was only because I was trying to defend myself in, in, a, in a place where, I guess, people would attack that faith a lot uh, for different aspects. And I just never got down with the idea of, of, of the many gods or the idol worship. It just didn't fit right with me. Uh, as well, there were like uh, numerous different explanations which weren't sitting well in terms of science, um, and I didn't, I wasn't satisfied that the truth was there. Although there were many good teachings, and I have to clarify that 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 values and beliefs I found were in every religion. And after I left the religion of my parents when I was uh, just starting into my teenage years, um, I came across the Bible and Christianity, and I read the Bible, and it was it was beautiful because I came across this idea of one God. Uh, I, in the Old Testament, I came across this idea of one God. And that just like, it, it held me. And the way that this God was so uh, benevolent, and at the same time, uh, it, it, was, it was like the, the, the might of God that really, really attracted me towards this. And the concept of prophets, the concept of prophethood, where the men who give you the message are not divine in themselves. And this is the Old Testament that I'm talking about. And that really, really attracted me towards that. And it just, my search kept on going from there. Uh, I went into the New Testament, read that. And again, I wasn't, I was, really happy with the values that I had found, and I had fallen in love with the character of Jesus. But at the same time, I just couldn't accept, uh, I couldn't accept it into my heart. I just, it didn't fit for me. And that's when I started to uh, kind of cast off all religion. And I just, uh, I became atheist for a point in time. But after a while, my, I, I couldn't force atheism upon myself because I knew in my heart, and just from the logic around me, that the, this whole creation was created by some awesome being. And that's what led me to go to any spiritual buzz I could find, whether it's a, a Buddhist circle or a Catholic church or a Sikh temple uh, or even sometimes a, a Hindu prayer with my parents. Um, the only religi religion I never actually bothered to look into was Islam. Like My parents are from India and from a Muslim city in India. So we always grew up knowing about Islam, um, although not the beliefs itself, but the lifestyle of a Muslim, the Islamic culture. Um, and the thing is, we always had a lot of misconceptions that were going around. And so whenever I grew up in Islam, it was always centered around certain misconceptions, like, like, like misconceptions such as terrorism or the rights of women. These were always issues that always held me back from wanting to even look into the religion. And a lot of my friends in high school, uh, actually some of my best friends in high school, were Muslims, although they weren't practicing at that time. And I, I never got the message of Islam through their actions because we were doing the same things. And it's only once that I came into university and I found that, that it was a place where you could, uh, I guess, open up your, your ideas a little bit more, question yourself and question those around you. Uh, I actually came across a book about science in the Quran. And I was doing a BSc at the time, and that stopped me cold in my tracks. And I decided to take a really critical look at what this religion was trying to say. In terms of a defining moment, I can definitely say that the minute I came across uh, a scientific fact in the Quran. Like my, my, my thinking style is very rational. Um, I like to think based on fact rather than emotion because I've done a lot of emotional religious activity in different groups and I knew that the truth wasn't only an emotional component. It was a, it was a logical, rational component. And I needed to find a truth that was consistent and rational all the way through. And when I came across, uh, I guess, reading books about science in the Quran, that's, that's what started to propel me 
towards finding out, uh, out about the religion, but definitely the defining moment was the day I took my declaration of faith, the Shahada. Well, after I became Muslim, of course, um, I told my parents very shortly after, and everyone around me, um, and they started to pick up on it a little bit because I started growing my beard and stuff like that. Um, they have those same misconceptions that I had, and I don't blame them at all. Actually, it's it's an ignorance, and it's a it's it's an innocent ignorance, um, where they had those misconceptions, and nobody had explained to them or reached out to them as to what the truth of Islam and the beauty of Islam really was. So when they when my family reacted slightly negatively towards me, I knew it was just uh, their emotional reaction, and it was them not understanding that I had become a better person and why I'd made this change. When I became a Muslim, there was no real a support network or a social web to kind of guide the new Muslims into their religion. And there was also, there, was a, there wasn't a big machine to propagate the truth about the religion. And this is where I think my personal uh, contribution can come, where I'm also trying to learn about the religion every day. And while I do that, I would like also to teach others and make, make the transition as easy as possible, as well to let people understand that when they become Muslims, they don't lose their identity. They're still who they are. They still have their interests and their likes and their dislikes. And I would like to make it easy for their families to let them know that that person is still them. That's still their son or their daughter or their brother and their sister. And that the only thing that's changed is their outlook. They've just come in touch with the greater reality. I think the biggest thing that Islam has done for me, first of all, is to give me a satisfaction in my heart that I, I understand why I'm here and why this universe was created. So I feel at sync with nature itself around me. I feel in sync with every human being and all of nature, even inanimate, animate objects. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling to wake up every morning, to think about God, and to have your mind blown every morning at the, at the miracles that he's, that he's given to us as well. I think that uh, I've developed a respect for every single human being, animal, you name it. It's just taught me that Islam is a system of rights in many ways. And I've, I've, I've learned to respect my parents more, respect my neighbors more, respect people from other faiths and other cultures more. And I think that that kind of respect is, is needed, especially in a world today where we have to uh, make a heal a lot of wounds from the past.